Hi, I'm Jim Bendewald, the owner of Phantom Knowledge. I provide video-based training for safely flying DJI quadcopters. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to safely remove the camera and the gimbal on the Phantom 2 Vision Plus quadcopter. If you have any inclination to fly in manual mode, it would be very wise to do so with the camera and gimbal off the Phantom. In this lesson, I'll demonstrate how to remove it so that you can experiment more safely. I'm doing this video because there are a few spots to pay special attention to, but once you know how, removing the gimbal is really pretty easy. The only tool that you really need is a wire cutter or a heavy duty pair of scissors. To start, we're gonna remove the battery, and if you have the propellers on, go ahead and take them off too. And then we'll go ahead and turn it over. And you can see that it has these little washers. And so with the wire cutters, we're gonna go in and, and clip these washers. Now you could also um, actually break the pin, um, go through the pin. You could do that, but that's not really what I recommend. <clears throat> I just think it's easier to go through the washer. And so we're gonna do the same thing with the other one. And so those are off. And then we simply take the pins out and also take off the, um, the rubber bumpers. So I just pop out the rubber bumper. Now underneath there are, the wires are connected. So we're gonna show you how to disconnect those wires. And this is the part where you need to be careful. So <clears throat> I can show it to you here. There's three wires and the two wires that are here in the front are, you just simply pull them down. So we're going to start with, start with those. Kind of grab it and pull it down, grab it, pull it down. And then this one on the side, this other one on the side is the one that you have to pinch toward the top. Toward the top of it, you just pinch it and then it allows you to release it and it comes off. And so this is how I would fly it then. Um, obviously it's going to be much lighter. And so when flying like in manual mode or if you're gonna do any kind of trick flying or anything like that, this is what you're gonna to wanna to do. You're gonna to wanna to have the camera off, it'd be just it just wouldn't make any sense to have the camera on while you're trying to fly in manual mode. It's just far too dangerous. Um, why, you know, why risk spending uh, six, seven hundred dollars uh, replacing this thing when you can just simply take it off? So this is what I recommend. You take it off and uh, get that final, oh, there we go. Get that little pin out of there and uh, you're ready to go.